the last shop update vlog. Welcome to the last shop update vlog of the year. Okay, I just posted my shop update announcement post, so now it's real. <laughs> it's real now. It's happening this Sunday. Today is Monday. So we have six days to prepare for the shop update. Quick little update if you're wondering. This is gonna be my last shop update for a while. After the scarves, I probably will not be designing any new items. I do want to get everything that's in my studio now out the door off to you guys. I am sick of looking at them and I want these shelves for new items to come. As you guys know, my Patreon is closed and my shop will be closed indefinitely as well as I revamp and figure out what I want to do with both of those things. I think I've briefly mentioned this before, but the past year or so, I think I've just been taking on too many different endeavors as one person. <laughs> and it's been hard for me to balance the shop, running my Patreon, illustration work, client work, stuff like that, as well as YouTube and making art. In the next few months, I'm gonna sit down, be real with myself, figure out what I really wanna do, where I want my business to go, where I want my art to go, and then I will update you as I figure it out. I'm so excited to finally be able to show everyone the scarf. The colors came out amazing. These scarves are all knit locally in Long Island, New York, and they're made of 100% organic cotton. It's super, super soft. These come pre-washed, pre-dried, so if you dry them there shouldn't be an issue with the colors running or the scarf shrinking and it just adds like a beautiful pop of color to anything like I'm so excited these are pretty expensive to produce so I have a very limited quantity up in my shop if there's enough interest I might bring them back so let me know in the comments what you think but here, I'll show you. It goes from the fish to the cherries to the bunny to the frog with flowers to the little poodle. Ah, I'm obsessed. All right, before we get into the shop update stuff, I have a couple things to finish. I'm hyping myself up right now because one of the things I have to do is inventory and ordering shipping supplies and that is my least favorite task of all time. All right, I'll be back. Hey, I just got a really fun package, so one last distraction before we start counting. Thank you so much, Book of the Month, for sponsoring this video. I have been in a reading slump the past few months, and I just finished a book after not reading at all since August. Um, I finished Writers and Lovers by Lily King. I loved it a lot. And the best way to get excited about reading again is to find new books. Every month, Book of the Month curates a selection of the best new books by emerging authors to help you find your new favorite read. And also also, just to save you time. Honestly, it's really guaranteed to be a hit because the last three book of the month books I read, I rated them four stars and up. And my favorite book of 2023 so far might be Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, which was a book of the month pick. So I kind of have high hopes for these ones. And in addition to their hardcovers, they've also just launched audiobooks that you could download and listen to right on their app. You get your first hardcover book for just $9.99 with the code GOBBLE. And the two books I picked for this month are Again and Again by Jonathan Evison and The Last Love Note by Emma Gray. These are both contemporary fictions with a little bit of romance and they were both tagged as emotional. And do I love a sad book? The Last Love is about a widowed woman finding love again. And Again and Again is about an old man who is immortal. He's in a nursing home and he is an unreliable narrator, and the book has a non-linear timeline, so I expect myself to read this very, very fast. My link for Book of the Month is down below. And now we could get counting. I might put an audiobook on, actually. Where to even start? Let's do the totes first. I think from now on, after these scarves, I am gonna do pre-orders. I usually end up over-ordering. I'd rather not have totes and stuff go to waste if I can't sell them. Obviously, if I don't 
I could bring these to markets and stuff, but I'd rather not have them just sitting here. But I think pre-orders would be a good route to go. This would be my biggest sale ever. If you've been eyeing any of this stuff, now is the time to get it, or if your friend might want something for the holiday season, this would be the time to get it. And after the shop update, I'm not having any of these items in my shop ever again. This will be the last time. I'm ready to start designing new things. I also think I have another box of these fish toads somewhere over here. Let's get this guy open. Here. I think this is a box of like 50. I have to check these, grade them. So if they're A grade, that means they're perfect, ready to go. If they're B grade, that means they might have like a small imperfection, but that doesn't change the function or the item. my shop open until mid-December. I will let everyone know when the last day to order before the holiday season is and then after that it will be closed for a minute and hopefully all this stuff will go to a loving home or will be gifted to your friends and family. I'm not doing any markets this winter either. Online is pretty much the only place I will be selling everything. I do have so many t-shirts left over. Maybe it's just me because it's my own designs, but I get so sick of them so easily that I just want new stuff. But then I remember that maybe people who just found my art have never seen these items before. So I just have to remember that because I'm getting sick of them doesn't mean someone else might not like them. Some man in my building keeps leaving the toilet seat up. It's really annoying me because I put it down every single time I go to the bathroom because I go to the bathroom like six times a day and every time I go back, it's up again. Like, please, it's gross. Writers and lovers, I really enjoyed it. I think some books come to you when you need them most and I am really glad that I read that book at this point in my life. It was just a good meditation on grief, relationships, and artistic passion, plus there was a happy ending. The main character was talked to her therapist and she was just scared of what was to come in her life because she's afraid that she wouldn't be able to handle it or she wouldn't be able to overcome whatever is life will throw at her. And her therapist was just like, you've been through all these things, X, Y, and Z, no spoilers. That is not nothing and look where you are now. How's everyone's reading goal, by the way? I just looked at my Goodreads and I have 22 out of 35 books read. I will try my best and see how it goes. studio pretty early today and I've been counting all morning. It's around lunchtime now and I have finally finished counting all my stuff. I'm gonna make the mystery bags the rest of the afternoon. I'm on my Notion page right now and I'm just gonna jot down a bunch of ideas I have for content because I do have to market the shop update a little bit. The goal is to post those and then get the word out to people who have never seen my shop items before and just tell people that I'm having a huge sale. All right, this is all the stuff that's gonna be fair game in the mystery bags. All this stuff is fair game. We have a bunch of bookmarks. We have my Peachtober postcards from last year. I have a bunch of them left. We have my memo pads in here. Um, big Peachtober prints from last year like these raccoon guys, smaller prints, and then all my stickers are gonna be in the mystery bags. Let's do a small mystery bag, a medium-sized mystery bag, and a large mystery bag that includes a tote. Mm -hmm. of 
this video, I'm just gonna jump here and tell you what is in each size mystery bag. The small mystery bags have three 5x7 prints, three 4x6 prints, five bookmarks, and three stickers at least. The medium mystery bags have all of those, plus five 8x10 inch prints, a memo pad, a pin, and a washi tape. And the large mystery bags have a whole lot of stuff. There is a tote bag, three 5x7 prints, three 4x6 prints, five bookmarks, three stickers, ten, that's right, ten 8x10 prints, two memo pads, two pins, and one washi tape, all super, super discounted. are here here let's open them gotta get the content for tiktok and instagram too ah, i see them oh my goodness ah, no way guys this is amazing. I'm so, so excited. <sighs> yes. I'd just like to thank all of you for supporting me, supporting my YouTube channel. And if you bought anything from the shop this time around, or if you have ever bought anything from the shop, Thank you so much for your support. Look forward to the packing order video and all the other chaos that comes after I open my shop. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.